Okay, so we have taken a look at how to create your own PDF files that are as accessible as possible if you don't have access to Acrobat Pro by using Microsoft Word to pre-format your document and export it uh, and use that uh, pr uh, publish to PDF or save as PDF option as opposed to the print to PDF option. Do not use the print to PDF option. But what about if we get one of these flat files, these image only files that are not machine readable? I've got my image only version of my accessibility cheat sheet uh, up on the screen here. And if I activate the read aloud tool and try to get this to read out the document to me. Warning, empty page. Yeah, I'm getting that empty page warning. So I know it is um, an image only version. Well, how do I fix that? There are a few steps that we need to go through, but Adobe Pro does have the tools built in that you need. Uh, I've got the Scan and OCR tool and the Accessibility tool built in. Again, if you do not see these uh, under your list of tools, click on the More Tools. You'll find them listed under here, and you can add and open them. So I'm going to first go to Scan and OCR because I want to recognize the text that's on this page as machine readable text. I click on this. I uh, click on recognize text in this file. I need to specify my language. That's going to help uh, Adobe to determine what language the text is in and uh, make sure that it picks up all the proper text. So I've got English selected here. I'll recognize the text. And now I can copy paste the text. I can highlight it and copy paste it. So it is machine readable but it does not yet have all of the accessibility features that I need to really make this document work for my students. The next step that I want to go through is adding in all those little extras that make truly make this an accessible document. Things like checking the reading order of the document, making sure that I have my headings properly tagged, and making sure that there are alt tags on the images or that images are tagged as decorative where appropriate. So I'm going to close my scan and OCR on here. I'm going to open up my accessibility tools. And I can run an accessibility check on this to find out right off the bat what problems I have with the document that need to be fixed. So I will do that. And you can see that I have uh, a bunch of issues with the document. It is not reading as image only anymore, so that has passed, but it is not tagged for navigation. So again, my students would have to get their machine to read out the entire document to them, which is really annoying. I also need to add a title to this document uh, for screen readers to be able to identify what the document is. Uh, set the primary language. Well, I can set the primary language pretty easily. It's English. That will tell the screen reader application what language it's trying to read out to the students. Fixing the title is easy. I can fix that by simply adding in here what I want my title to be. And I can change uh, whatever I need in here as well. And I'm happy with that. Okay, it is now passed. There are a couple of things in here that always need to be manually checked. That is your reading order, the order that your, your screen reader will read the contents of the page out to you. You don't want it to uh, pick up color as the first thing and then go back to the top of the page. You want to read it in the correct order. That takes a human eye to figure that out. And your color contrast ratio also needs to be double checked. There's lots of free color contrast ratio analyzers out there. My favorite is by the Pacciello Group. It's simply called Color Contrast Analyzer. And the only thing on this that I would really need to check because black and white has a nice uh, 21 to one contrast ratio. It's the highest ratio you could get would be this here. I've intentionally added this in with a contrast ratio that will fail for illustrative purposes. Everything else is good, so I'm going to pretend that I have run a an, an, uh, color contrast analysis on this, and I'm going to pass that. So what I'm worried about here now is tagging this document and setting the logical reading order. So I am going to fix this. It is now tagged the document, 
And now I can check the logical reading order. There's a tool over here that will let you do that called reading order. So let's run a reading order check on this. Make sure that our document is reading everything uh, in the order that we intend for our students to encounter the content and that we have properly tagged all of our headings and our image alt text. I'll click our reading order. You get this nice little tool that comes up. It's going to show you everything that is tagged in here. The numbers will indicate the order that everything is going to be read out to students. And you can see that this is out of order. Uh, I've got number one up here. That's fine. Then it goes to this image number two. It goes to uh, this figure down here. It's picking up this as two different figures, which I don't want it to. Uh, and then it skips to number nine for this. So number four is down here. So I need to change my reading order for some of this. I also need to change what some of these are picking up as uh, so that I actually have some headings in here. So what I want to do is uh, change digital accessibility cheat sheet to be the uh, first level heading, a heading one for the page. I can simply draw a square around that text and I can tag that as heading one. And now it has, has added a navigation uh, structure here. Uh, for number two, I'm going to click on this number. I want to tag this as a heading level two. It's a subheading. All right, for readings, I want to tag this as a heading level uh, one, perhaps. Or maybe even another heading level two. It's a subheading on the page. So it's subdividing this out. The order is still wrong on this. But I can change that after the fact. So I'll give this a heading level two. I will give the word color a heading level two. And video captions, I will give that a heading level two as well. And for everything else that's in here, such as number 11, I want this to be picked up as a paragraph. So number 13 as a paragraph as well. Number 15, number 17, and number 18. Normally I'd have these as one block, but it's going to read it in the correct order, so I'm okay with that. And for all of this down here, this page uh, thing that's in the bottom, I'm going to tag this as decorative afterwards, so I am going to uh, ignore that for now. Now I want to uh, change all of this here to a figure with no alternative text uh, on it. So I'm going to change number three to a figure with no alt text. Number four, I'm going to actually highlight these and see if I can get it to pick it up together. Okay, so it's picking one thing up here as opposed to all of that. It's a figure with no text, so I'm good on that. This one here, I'm going to do the same figure. And that is okay for that one. And for number 16, I can actually remove uh, all of that altogether afterwards. I, my reading order is now incorrect, so I need to fix that. All right, my next step would be to fix the reading order and make sure that it's not reading this figure down here first and then coming up to this figure and then reading the title of the page and the subtitle and then going on and, and reading things out of sequence because they're all jumbled up here. Well. I can fix that by ordering the uh, by opening the show order panel. So it's going to show me over here the order that everything is going to be read in. I want this number three to be number one digital accessibility cheat sheet. I'll just drag that up here to number one. I'll drag everything down beneath it. Might take a little bit of tweaking here to move that around. So I'm reordering things. I want number four now to be my subheading. So I'll drag that up here. I want this picture number four to be the next thing that's read. And this one here, headings, I want this to be the next thing after that. And this paragraph here, number eight, I want that to be the next thing that's read out. So I will put that here. So now I have reordered the first half of the page. I would need to carry on and do the rest for the rest of the page. 
and uh, it's as simple as dragging and dropping everything into the correct order that you want it read. My final step in making sure that this is a fully accessible document is to make sure that there's proper alt text on all of my images. And you can see that on these figures here, there's no alt text right now. So I'm going to use, under the accessibility options, the set alternative text. It is going to find all the figures in this and let you go from each one uh, to the next and set the alternative text. So I'm on image one. There's no alt text here right now. And again, this is an example of a document with proper heading structure. And I will go on to the next image, which is uh, this one down here. So again, it's in the wrong order. I want number seven to be uh, the next one. So I'm going to go to number seven. This one right here, uh, I want to take this as a decorative image. It's illustrative only. There's no instructional content in it. So I'm going to take it as decorative. A screen reader will skip it. And then I could go on to my next image, which is this one here. And I can put in appropriate alt text for that, which would be examples of good and poor color contrast ratio. And save and close. All of my images have now been tagged, so a screen reader will either skip it or read the alt text. My text has all been properly tagged and has been labeled as headings or paragraph text. When you use the read aloud option, it will read it in the proper order if you tell it to read the whole page out. Uh, if you're reading a specialized screen reader, uh, using a specialized screen reader application like uh, like JAWS or one of the other ones that is out there, you can use your keyboard to navigate from section to section and find the appropriate section where you left off. And if you want to verify that uh, you have that heading structure in place, uh, even in Acrobat Reader, you can do this. You just want to open up the uh, bookmarks uh, that are in this or the navigation pane uh, over here and see if it has any of those bookmarks listed or if it has any of those headings listed. Uh, 